hi guys so welcome to my channel again today i'm so happy to have you guys so thank you so much guys for always some um, watching my videos engaging on my videos like i really 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 appreciate that okay and to those who are seeing me for the first time my name is rose and in this channel all we do is to share information about uh, va skills about remote jobs how to get remote jobs, how to make money online, right? How to work from home, and finally, how to learn ethic and a video. Okay, so if this is the kind of content you want, please click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel because I will keep updating you guys even after your training on a lot of things about the VA skills and how to succeed. All right, guys, so in this week milestone, this is week seven. Congratulations! Congratulations! You are doing great things. Yes, so this is week seven, and the week seven milestone is all about um, your online uh, bidding and sending your online bid and also your pitch. Yes, your elevator pitch. Okay, so for you to achieve this milestone, all you need to do is to sign up on a freelance. Um, uh, site it can be maybe freelancer.com upwork.com or any of the freelance platform you like okay for example now this is upwork and once you enter into upwork you go to where we have fine work right so if you go to fine work it's going to show us a um, list of jobs that matches your own um your own profile yes just like what happens in linkedin so list of jobs that matches your profile so example look at here so after clicking on what see i just saw something that is similar to what you can do like virtual assistant needed for team support so you can click on this to see get more information about this bid okay so we see here that they are seeking for a dedicated virtual assistant to join their team and assist with various tasks as part of our dynamic group so you will help streamline operations, manage schedules, and perform administrative duties. So the ideal candidate will be organized, proactive, and able to communicate effectively. So if you are looking for a flexible role where you can make a positive impact, you want to hear from you. Okay. So this person is bidding is um is ready to pay three dollars to six dollars hourly per hour. So you look at that all those considerations. And you see the person is in United States, Union City, right? So at least you check the time zone if it will favor you, right? And the skills of expertise that is expected, right? Um, virtual assistant, communication, administrative support. So those are what are needed. Then um, preferred qualification. So you just have to send your, your proposal. That's your bid, right? So you have to send your proposal which is the same thing as your bid okay so the next thing you have to do is since you have gotten the information here that they need administrative support so you write out all these things that are needed mm? they need someone who will manage schedules which is calendar you know that um set up meetings and the rest um events right uh, streamline operations like all the administrative tasks so you know after you have gotten this now let's go so we all know that to create an effective um, online feed. So there are some elements you have to have first a professional greetings. You greet the person like hello if you know the person's name or hello this, right? Then you introduce yourself. And introducing yourself have to include your background. Summarize your background, right? Uh, in the introduction. Then the next one is you have to summarize your understanding of the job. Like what do you understand about the job? Then you highlight your skills and experience that align with the job, okay? For example, let me say, okay, I'm going to give an example after this. So you highlight your skills and experience that aligns with the job, right? Then you give, um, review your portfolio and other things and you professionally sign off, yes. So you have given the person the information about why you should do the job, your experience, your skills, your background, all in one a uh, simple um, write-up which is your online bid so let's go and create our online bid now so the first thing you do is you type your document dot new right to create a, a new google doc right so after creating it so okay. as usual you first come here and edit your name your the, the title so you save it rename it and save it your name 
example let me say blessing right then the blessing your surname you add it there then you write it your online bit or bit just write it your bit your name and then you write bit so that's what you save it as then after you have saved it you come and start with the professional salutation which is um let's say um dear daniel dear daniel that's the proper salutation then you go to and introduce yourself and your background just like this so this is how you introduce yourself For example my name is blessing i am a virtual assistant with two years or one year experience or maybe with an entry level of experience in administration and digital marketing right or anything okay so the next thing is for you to explain your understanding of Understanding of the job post uh, here that was advertised. Okay, so let's say uh, We can say something like this Okay, I understand you want a dedicated um, virtual assistant to join your team and assist in various administrative tasks Okay, so you see so at this point now uh, you have explained your understanding of the job having reviewed your job posting um, as advertised on um, Upwork or something. I understand you want a dedicated virtual assistant to join your team and assist in various administrative tasks. So that's the next one. Then the next thing is for you to like bring in your skills and experience and how it is related to the job. So here you can say, like, you bring down your skills and how it related to the job, right? You said, okay, I excel in managing emails and calendar, scheduling events, meetings without any conflict. I also excel in delivering efficient data entry tax, travel plan, internet research, expense tracking, and transcribing me me meeting minutes. So you can write to yourself, like, you just have to. I'm just giving you an example of what is expected of you, right? So after you have explained your skills and experience and how it is related to the current um, bid you are actually job you are actually bidding for, right? So the next thing for you to do is this. So you tell them your those your soft skills, right? Don't forget that they gave the soft skills they are expecting from the person. So you make sure you include that in your bid. So you can say something like maybe I am organized, proactive, attention to details, self-managed with effective communication. Remember in their job post, they want someone who is organized, who is proactive and who have effective communication. So you have to include that when you are sent writing your bid, right? So the next thing is for you to tell them how you are going to deliver the job effectively. All right. So I think this one you can just say um, with the skills and experience I have, I believe that this will help me to deliver a, a deliver efficient um, job or maybe on timely manner or something like that. You see. So you see, so this the, the next thing is for you to tell them, OK, these skills aid my timely delivery, maintaining high accuracy and confidentiality in every task or project. So with my proficiency, I will give my best to every task and deliver it on time, making your life and that of the team seamless. I don't know. That's just for me. So you can construct your own. I just did a, a rough um, of what is expected of you. Right. So the next thing for you to do, the next step is for you to um, put your rate your rate so you have to tell them how much you are going to charge right because you see they gave an a range of how much they are expecting to pay so you tell them okay i will i will complete this tax um okay don't don't put this this was for a different thing i'll complete this tax at the rate of uh maybe ten dollar per hour maybe five dollar per hour so you have to check how much the client is willing to pay okay so you put that rate and then you say okay that is what you need to do then the next thing is you conclusion so you professionally conclude like okay i am open for further discussion i am open for or you can contact me okay if you need more information um, about this okay so you now say you are you now bring your eagerness your enthusiasm to it okay i'm enthusiastic i'm eager to bring my skills to use and assist you in this stuff so i assist you and whatever i don't know how you want to write it so this is just how to construct it so you now find out that this um this bit has into professional introduction, has a um, uh, professional greetings, has um, the background where you introduce yourself, you tell them your background, then you understand, you explain to them what you understand about the job, right? The next thing is to tell them your skills and experience that are related to the job. Then the next thing is you bring in your soft skills, okay? 
and how you are going to use them to achieve the job in the tabs, right? And then finally, you tell them your rates and you just have to communicate everything, be specific, tell them your rates here and then you conclude like giving a ax, how do they say, the call to action, like a call to action, like you contact me, let's talk about it more or something, you can message me, something like that, okay, for your bidding. So that is it. So that is it for the bidding and then you conclude professionally with your name, and your contact details but i think most of this um most of this uh, platform doesn't accept you sharing um your contacts because they expect the person to contact you in the platform okay so that is just it for the online bit so that's how to create your online bit so the next thing for you to do is your personal elevator pitch it's just about you knowing how to sell yourself like maybe you met someone what would you say in 60 seconds about yourself, right? So that is it. And you can this can happen maybe a face-to-face -face, through an email or something. So that is the elevator uh, pitch. So let's go and do the elevator pitch. So for the elevator uh, pitch, it's just like you introducing yourself in a very short time, right? And we are given 60 seconds to do this. So you need whatever you are putting down, you need to practice it and ensure that it doesn't take more than 60 seconds, which is a minute, right? So example, what you need to have is the, um, the salutations. Like example, hi, then you introduce yourself. My name is, example here, hi, my name is this. Then you put your background, just like what you did in your on your bidding. Your name is this. Then you explain your a little of your experience right in there. And then you add a little of your skills, maybe three top skills that you have. And then the, uh, how you are going to assist the person in one way or the other. Okay, example, let me read this one I have here. Hi, my name is Blessing. I'm with a background in administration, customer support, and digital marketing. I specialize in providing support to busy executive businesses and individuals, consultants as well. My experience includes managing social media, conducting research, and handling administrative tasks, which allows consultants to focus on their clients and business growth. So my strengths are efficiency, organization, and proactive problem solving. So I bring the skills to streamline your operations and support your business goals. So if you need someone, you can enhance your productivity and manage your time-consuming tasks. Please connect with me. I'm eager to discuss how I can contribute to your success. You can see here that this person has a, um, a greeting there, which is the hi. Yours can be anything. Hello. Hi. So now introduce herself, starting with her name right and after that her background like what she does it can be your educational background it can be your career background or something okay she now advertised her background that she, she has a background in administration and customer support and digital marketing as well right now she now states uh this the services she she provides like her experience okay she provides support to maybe business executives or people like that you understand companies officials like anyhow you want to put yours and then she now states her experience in those um positions okay she's experienced in maybe managing social media which that that's what make her a digital marketer right experience in uh, managing uh, social media support conducting research administrative tasks which that's what makes her administrative um uh, assistant right so you put all those things in place and then finally she states her skills. Um, she have organizational skills, efficiency, proactiveness, problem solving. So she states her skills there and then finally she she explained how she's going to help the person's uh, business, how she will bring those skills to solve the person's problem. And then she finally gave an ask. She asked. So if you need someone who will help your life, help streamline your goals then you can connect with me so that is a clear ask for this person and then she professionally conclude so that is an elevator pitch so after doing this you have to rehearse this you sit down you say this by yourself you keep repeating it and then you time and see if it takes you 60 seconds to do this if it takes more than that you edit it adjust it and make sure it's something that takes 60 seconds so it won't be that much then you save it edit it and write your name and then you write elevator pitch, right? So after doing that, that is when you now go to um, you now go to share option and make sure that everybody can view this and then copy your link. And these are what you're going to submit as your milestone too. 
all right so that is all so if i've actually helped you in one way or the other please click on the like button like this video subscribe to this channel don't go without subscribing okay we also have a video on how to create your portfolio here because even while bidding for this they will request for portfolio so you can watch this video on how to create your portfolio how to create your cv in case it's requested right and how to do other things so check out my channels i have uh, i have a playlist of this uh, virtual assistant skills so check it out like this video comment and tell us anything you want us to talk about in regards to v va jobs and remote jobs see you in my next video bye for now